Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Hey guys, it's Toy Nicole and I'm going to show you how to create a drag and drop interactive activity for your students. Um, this is a cool activity, an interactive activity for kids to use during remote or distance learning. Um, it's pretty simple to do as well. Um, here is how I got started. I just went to insert image, uh, insert image, search the web to get my picture of an apple. Um, for my background, all I did was use the basic shapes. Um, I did a square for the purple background, a square for the sentence strip, and all I did was make the lines thicker to kind of give it a little bit of fanciness. All right, so for my words, I'll do the same thing, insert shape. I'm gonna do a rounded box this time for my words. And make the lines a little thicker so that way it'll stand out. Type my first word. I'm going to center it and change the font and make it bold. All right, so now all I have to do is copy and paste. One, two, three, four. My period for the end. Let's see, red. Um, the apple is. Alright, so there's my sentence, the words for my sentence. And so um, now all the students have to do is drag and drop them into the correct order. It's pretty simple. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. Uh, the apple is. Alright, and um, when I create these activities, it goes by really fast. Once I have the um, basics, which is this right here. All I do is just duplicate the slide over and over again so that all I have to do, of course, these wouldn't be in there when I duplicate it. So that all I have to do now is just um, change the sentence, okay? So I would make sure they weren't in there and just duplicate the slide, get a new picture. Let's do insert image. Let's do a bat. Let's do a clip art. All right, insert a bat in there. Resize it. And now all I have to do is change in a few words. The bat is black. Ooh. I might change the boxes around so that they didn't have the same, so they're not in the same spot each time. And then just duplicate that and go to the next slide. Right click, duplicate, delete that picture and keep going and that's pretty much it i hope you found this video useful if you did please like comment and subscribe to this channel i do have a facebook page with a lot of free activities and resources it's called digital resources for elementary teachers um thank you guys for watching bye